Hi everybody, Dr. Eric Cobb back with you. Hope you're again having a fantastic week and a fantastic summer. This week, I wanna talk about something simple, but profound, it's the power of words. Uh, if you've looked at a lot of the blogs that I've done previously, you know that I, I always talk about the idea that humans are capable of change. We have this brain that is a plastic brain. It's a bendy brain. We can change it by conscious choice and conscious directives. But the problem is that very often we forget what our conscious directives are until the day is gone. And so I talk a lot about using reminders and systems and building an environment that just helps you be better in your life. Well, I ran across an article this week um, that really is a fantastic re uh, representation of what I'm talking about. It's an article about how one man used his computer password that he had to put in multiple times a day at work to really change his life. So what we've done is we put a link to that article at the end of um, the video. Please take the time to read it and please take the time to apply it. It is profoundly interesting and I think it's a fantastic example of someone thinking outside the box to go, hey, I want my life to be different. I know that words are powerful. How can I get the right words into my life? The second thing I'm gonna do after this blog is also put in a link for a fantastic video that we show uh, regularly at our course where we deal with food. Uh, one of the things that we talk about in our sustenance class, which is our nutrition class, is just how often the changes that we need to make in our diet are not about changing our diet, they're about changing our environment, they're about changing our inner drives. Uh, and so we spend a lot of time talking about communication. And in that class, there's a fantastic video from a marketing firm in the UK called The Power of Words. And I'm gonna ask you to watch it and I'm gonna ask you to think about it. Uh, because most people, when they watch it the first time, it's just shocking. You go, holy cow, that's so powerful. So the human brain is wired for communication. It is our primary survival tool as a group. And it's also our primary survival tool to ourselves. We either talk to ourselves or we think to ourselves in images and pictures. And what I want you to understand basically from this blog is that the repetitive use of words has power in your life. How you talk to yourself is gonna make a difference. So as you watch these blogs, I'd love for you to again, think about how you could apply them in a practical sense, as you read the article particularly, as you watch the video, what I'd love for you to do is think about the power of words and think about the words that you consistently say to yourself about the changes that you're trying to make in your life. Uh, I think if you'll do this little exercise, and again, it's not, some, not super specific this week, but if you'll do this exercise and start paying attention to what you write, what you think, uh, you may find, find some really profound um, thoughts or insights into ways that you can more quickly and more easily create the changes that you want uh, in your habits and your lifestyle. So that's it for this week. I hope that you really enjoyed the article, really enjoyed the blog. They are very powerful, or the, the video uh, attached. They are very powerful. So if you have questions about them or comments, please let us know. Other than that, I'll look forward to talking to you soon. Thanks.